Marry to the Queen. Philip. No. <laughs> <laughs> Marry to the Queen. queen. Hello, and you're very welcome to a special Grand National Quiz. I'm Paddy Power, and I'm joined ahead of the Grand National by two very proud nations pitting their wits against one another. Uh, it's Team Ireland take on Team UK. Team Brilliant. UK, obviously very keen to avenge their very Come narrow pre-Cheltenham defeat at the hands of Team Ireland. So without further ado, let's meet the teams. First of all, our reigning quiz champions Boom. with a total of three Grand Nationals between them. It's Team Ireland, consisting of Ruby Walsh, Mick Fitzgerald and Jane Mangan. And opposing them, we welcome back our UK team with countless Grand Nationals watched and analysed on TV and stuff. Between them, it's Matt Chapman, Gina Bryce and Simon Holt. Hey. Great stuff, so we have plenty of bragging rights at stake. Let battle commence. Yeah. Round one is called And They're Off. And in the first round, it's a buzzer round. Our contestants will have to buzz first if they know the answer, but be careful because a wrong answer could open the door for the other team to steal a point. Fingers on buzzers, everybody. Here is the first question. How many Grand Nationals did Red Rum race in? Simon. Five. Correct, well done. Well done, Sal. Whoa. He did say earlier he was hoping there'd be lots of Red Rum questions. Especially subject. Other Thank than you. the chair, what is the only other fence jump just once? Ruby. Water jump. Correct. One one. How he got in before? Very fast on the finger. Very fast on the finger. Question three: Alden Ald Eaty and Bob Champion famously won the 1981 Grand National. Spartan Missile finished second, but who rode him? Ah. John Thorne. John Thorne. Correct. Well done. Ah. Back on the buzzers. Which horse won the Monday Grand National? Simon. Lord Galeen. Lord Galeen is correct. Oh, well done. Go on, son. Who wow. are you? Who are you? <laughs> Might be a bit early for that, Matt. Yeah. Uh, which horse still holds a track record winning time 22 years after winning the national? I've got no way he got in front. I was pressing before he finished no it. No yes, way! Me, Mr. Yeah. Frisk. Mr. Frisk is correct. Well done. Back in your buzzers, everybody. Red Marauder won the 2001 Grand National, but how many horses? Three. Oh no, you idiot. you idiot. Four, I can you offer idiot. <laughs> I, I, I can, Four, two I, remounted. I finished fourth and last. Yes, right. four of us did. You did. Four was the correct <laughs> answer. Well done. Next question. How many fences are jumped in the Grand National? Oh. Ruby. Oh, well, he's at <laughs> 30. 30, correct. Well done. Very quiet over there now, Matt. Who are you? How many Grand National winners has Nicky Henderson trained? Ruby. Zero. Oh. Correct. Oh, that does not Name I the think. last 12 year old to win the Aintree Grand National. Ruby. Amberley House. Correct. In 2004. Good answer. Gigginstown House Stud have won the Grand National with two different horses. Tiger Ru Ruled the World. Oh. Correct. Well done. The question was going to be on who is the other, other than oh, Tiger Ruled. Jeremy Evans. <laughs> 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 right. How many times has the Grand National been won by a female trainer? Jane. Three. Three. Incorrect. Let's play it across okay, to the so team. We've got Jenny Pittman twice. Venetia Williams, Sue, Sue Smith. Smith. So we, we're going to go with four. Going to go with four. Incorrect, it was five. Uh, Sue Smith was the last one. We said Sue Smith. said Sue Smith. OK, we well, got one for Sue Smith, oh, Lizanne Russell, Russell, Venetia Williams and Jenny Pittman twice. Lizanne Russell. Right, so nobody won that one. Really upset. Right, fingers on buzzers, everybody, for the final question of the round. S&S won the Grand National that never was. Cahar Villahau finished second, but what horse finished whoa, whoa, whoa. third? He buzzed a half an hour ago. Sorry, I didn't see the buzz. I was getting excited reading the question. Matt. Who was third? <laughs> You've no idea what the question is. No, no idea. My answer was going to be the winning jockey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, Paddy. Hold on, shush. OK, you? throw it across, throw it across to our You can finish the question. I can finish the question now. s, &S won the Grand National that Royal never was. Cara Villahau finished second, but what horse finished third? Fitzy, you were the only one that was there. Oh, I was there. Did, did Charlie writes? Cara Villahau. Yeah. Um, yeah, the answer is they don't know, Paddy. Paul Holly, give us a book. Paul Holly? No, incorrect. It was Romany e. King. Right, well played both teams. An impressive start for both teams, but a more impressive round one for Team Ireland to lead after one round. Seven points to three. Yeah. 
Right, on to round two. This one's called Photo Finish. I shall ask you to pick a number between one and six. You'll get a photo that's under that number, and then there'll be a question about that. So I am going to start with Gina. Would you like to choose a number, please? I'll go for number one. Mm. Number one? Why not start at the top? Name the horse and jockey following home AP in the national. Oh, well, we think... It's Dennis it, O'Regan. We think it might be Black Appalachian. Yeah. yeah. What's the answer, Gina? Black Appalachian. And? Dennis, Dennis O'Regan. Correct. Well done. Well done. Good start. Good right. Good one, Simon. Jane, <laughs> your turn to pick a number. Number three. Number three. Who's this looking for cover under the chair? Richard Johnson. Richard Johnson, it certainly is. Edmund. Well done. Yeah, it is Edmund. Simon, you're up next. Number two, please. Number Edmund. two, okay. Name the two horses pictured. Neptune Collange and Sunny Hill Boy. Excellent, good work. Good man. That's Commentator class. coming out. Uh, Form Mick. is temporary. Class. <clears throat> Bit of respect, please, Matthew. Mick, your go. Five. Number five. Name this Grand National winning oh, combination. So, so easy. easy. So easy. Oh, you can't get it so wrong. So easy. You can't I, was, get... I was lying on a stretcher and I was listening to the commentary. Can fly or die. And? And? Timmy Murphy. Correct. Well done. Why Good didn't work. we get that one? And finally, the captains. Matt, which number are you going for? Uh, could I have, please, Patrick, number four? You certainly can. Number four, here is Silver Birch winning the 2007 National, but which horse is Barry Garrity riding in behind? Ooh. Another, Another to, Irish horse. I'm gonna have to press you. It's what points are like in this quiz. I'm the last one for you guys. I mean, I'd say you just have a stab at it, Simon. We're gonna go. Just guess, or you're done. I don't know. You're done, I'm throwing it across the Irish team. Slim Pickings. Slim Pickings is correct. I mean, Irish, no well one's done. ever going to get that unless you're Irish. Ruby, that leaves you. You're left at number six. Thanks, Paddy. You go at number six. And uh, who's this finishing first and second oh. in the national? Oh. Mini Homer, Richard Dunwoody beating Just So. Correct. Baby by. Don't know. Simon oh. Burrow. Simon Burrow. And that's the end of the round. And Ireland scored four and UK scored two. So overall, Ireland lead 11 points to five. Round three is called Beat the Drop, and because you're in front team Ireland, you'll be going first. I know you guys know how this works, as, as do Team UK from the last time, but yeah, in the un did. unlikely event that any of our viewers today didn't watch the last quiz, I shall explain it briefly. In front of you, Team Ireland, you have 15 balls. You need to put them in the box that you think matches the correct answer from the questions I'm about to ask you. At the end of the round, the number of balls you have left is the number of points you get. It wasn't many last time. We know. Question one. Which of these jockeys was the youngest when riding these Grand National winners? A. Richard Dunwoody on West Tip in 1986, B. Barry Garrity on Monty's Pass in 2003, or C. Niall Slippers Madden on number six Valverde in 2006? Why year the Monty's Pass winner? 2003. 2003. Barry Garrity was 20. Same age as me, so. He's after 23. Uh, Richard Dunwoody was in 86. What age is he, Mick? Seems like he's coming up for 60 this year. Yeah. So on 86 is 16. 16 and 36, 23 or 4 as well. You're in positive. I, th I, think, I think it's definitely Niall Madden, personally, but I don't want to go You guys just have a cup in. of tea there, it's grand. Yeah. We'll take our time. Can we yeah. come back tomorrow? Yeah. Three. Right. Okay. What have we got? We're going so you're strong going, on C. You're going strong on C. Well, I can tell you that Barry Garrity was the eldest at 24, so it wasn't him. Niall Madden was 21. And Richard Dunwoody was 22. So Niall Madden is the correct answer. Well done. So next, well done, through to the Jane. next question. Since the year 2000, how many Irish trained winners of the Grand National has there been? Is it A7, B9, or C11? 2000, Montes, 2003. Then Hedgehunter was next. Yeah. yeah. Then you had number six. Then you had Silver Birch. That's five. Tiger Roll twice is seven. Then you have Ruled War Eight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's eight, nine uh, Manila times. Okay, so let's go, lads. Come on, make up your mind. Two and nine. Which one do you think it is? But two and eleven, is it? Two and eleven, and John bank on nine. John bank on nine. Um, so you're going majoring on eleven, yeah? No, we're majoring no, nine. on nine. Majoring on nine. nine, rather. Majoring yeah. on nine, e. right? Well, I can tell you there have been a total of nine Irish trained winners yes. in the last 21 well years. So it was well B, done. so well done. That's so get rid of two of the balls there, Jane, please. Another two balls wasted. 
with your last question, you have to leave one of the boxes empty, right? Yeah. So you can't yeah. split them across all three yeah. to make you take a chance. Not that you wouldn't be taking a chance anyway. So last question, of these three jockeys, who has ridden in the Grand National on the most occasions? Is it A, Paul Townend, B, Sam Whaley-Cohen, or C, Aidan Coleman? <laughs> I'd say is a fair chance at Sam Whaley Cohen. I'd say, leave him where we are. All duck or no dinner. What age is Sam Whaley Cohen? What's been the odd? He's more. So, Paul Townend, how many rides do you think he's had in the national? But sure, I wouldn't think he's missed any. And I've missed a good few. So, he's. He's ridden whatever you didn't. He's, he's probably ridden 12. in 14. Yeah. It's probably Paul then. Probably is Paul. Paul or Aiden. I don't think it's Aiden. I think it's OK, Aiden. so you've made your choices. You're splitting between A and B. Well, I can tell you that it's Paul C. Townend has ridden in the Grand National seven times. Oh. And Sam Whaley Cohen has ridden in the Grand National nine times. And Aidan Coleman has ridden in the Grand National 11 times. So you end the round with Not zero. <laughs> Blown out. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> We're bad at this game. Hear the door opening, Team yeah. UK. You must be getting all, excited. We're in. This is our big moment. Vic Fitzgerald famously won the Grand National in 1996. He did. But from 13 rides, on how many occasions did he actually complete the course? Okay, so you... Was it one, two <laughs> or three? Do you know the answer? Well, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> I think so not very often. Well, obviously. Not it's very often. Hey, 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 well done, Simon. You know, Jesus. the obvious. Yeah. <laughs> One of the answer, it's either one, two, or three. Um, I mean, it's a guess for me. I, I wouldn't be able to count them. Okay. Right, would you? Did Rough Crest uh, get round again? I can't think of another horse. Did Rough Crest get round again? The fact that all three photos are photographs are of him on the same horse. Yeah, it's a bit of a giveaway. I'm not saying it's a clue, like, but. A bit of a giveaway. It's mildly insulting, Mick, actually. Give me a couple okay. of three. I'm going to put two in three. That's three. I'm going to put. We think it's two. The We're going to go two, aren't we? You're the captain. He couldn't have been that crap at that m that many times. Um, I just but got lucky one. Let's put. We've got an. We've got, we've got to play our advantage. Here. <laughs> we've got to play our advantage. Yeah. We need another we question. We want to try and get six points. We needed a gold cup class or Okay. We, major we go with that. Should we take one back? And no, just no, no, stick no, with no. Two? Leave it in there. We've got to play the, in case we get a good question next. Well, one's of it's three. We need more to work with. Then we're screwed. Come on, Matt. Matt. Put it in. Come on, captain. Captain. Come on, captain. Doesn't work well in the team. He's going against you. <laughs> I have to say, I would have thought if you'd ridden in one or completed one and won that one, you'd probably know that. But the answer was, in fact, two. So B. So well done. You majored in B. Yes. All right. I stand yes. Good decision. Good decision. <laughs> Happy with that. Uh, which of these three Grand National heroes carried more weight to victory? Was it A, Many Clouds? Was it B, Neptune Collange? Or C, Don't Push It? OK, look at the number clause. Six for no, Don't no, Push no, It. They're, they're all very similar. It was Neptune. I think it's Many Clouds. Your many clouds is number two, and don't push it is number six. Those two are both clipped. The middle one isn't the Grand National, but the other two both are. So many clouds surely has to be more weight than don't I push don't it. I don't I'm think. I don't think sure. it's don't. I think many clouds. Well, we've is got to go that many clouds is more than don't push it. I we? think I two think and six. I would have gone. So number clouds are there. We'll start moving the balls around then. Come on. So we don't think it's don't push it, do we? Because it's number six, and many clouds is number two. Put more in A. Put more in A. Just remember, Neptune Collins was placed in a Gold Cup. We just said that. Mate. Right, that's yeah. right. Uh, we just said that. Very impressive deduction, Simon, because uh, many clouds did indeed carry 11.9, so well remembered. Neptune Collins wasn't 11.7, it was 11.6. So you won that one, and don't push it was 11.5. The answer was A. Well yes. done. We're still in there. If we get these We're still six, in there, we level, we level Let's play. get rid of those three and B. All right, your last question. Ruby Walsh won the Grand National twice, but how many times did he ride in the race? Was it A, 12, oh, B, 13, Jesus. or C, 14? Look at all that hair in the middle picture. Yeah, you're a young chap there, aren't you? I mean, okay, so I think we've got to look after We've this. only got two boxes we can choose. We have to leave one blank. Yeah. And we need all six balls to level. Do you know? And if we don't get the six no. points, we will well, not win. 14. I'd go 14. I go the highest but number. But I just think hey, after Patton, he no, had he a ride every often. year. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, it's probably the highest number. If Townend had seven, I can't believe he didn't have double the number of yeah. Townend. Yeah. We're going all in. Seat. Sounds like he's going aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> We're either going to lose. It's, 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 it's great to make a team small. decision, isn't it? <laughs> like, right. Well, I can tell you. Well, I won't tell you. Ruby will tell you. What was the answer, Ruby? I haven't a clue. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> Ruby will tell you. But thankfully, it's written on this card. Uh, it was. 
14. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Get in my side. Yeah! <laughs> Boom. <laughs> so, after round three, things are very well poised with Ireland scoring zero in that round, the UK scoring six. That brings the totals to 11 points apiece. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a contest. Yeah. Well, round four is called Odds On, and in this round we are testing our team's knowledge of previous Grand National winners and their starting prices. So the team simply have to tell us whether, the, whether or not the starting price is higher or lower than the previous horse. So first one is last year's winner, Manella Times. And I'm not even going to tell you the starting price, but the next horse is Red Rum in 1977. Was Red Rum in 1977 starting price higher or lower than Manella Times? So that team goes higher, that team goes higher. Red Rum starting price was 9 to 1, Manella Times 11 to 1. It was in fact lower, so no points for either team, right? Next up is 1999 winner Bobby Joe. Was Bobby Joe higher or lower than Red Rum? Both teams go higher and both teams are correct. Then we have number six Valverde in 2006. Was number six Valverde higher or lower than Bobby Joe? Both teams go lower by majority and both teams are incorrect. It was higher, it was 11 to 1. Next on the list is Amberley House, a 2004 winner. Higher or lower than number six Valverde? Higher versus lower, and the answer is higher, 16 to 1, so a point to Ireland. Yeah. Coming next is Party <laughs> Politics, the famous 92 winner, but did Party Politics start higher or lower than 16 to 1? Lower all round, and lower is correct, a point each. It's 14 to 1. Now we have Monty's Pass, trained by Jane's dad, of course, so Jane, you'd better get this one right. Was Monty's Pass higher or lower than Party Politics? Higher all round, correct all round, 16 to 1. Next up, we have Bindery, the 2002 winner, higher or lower than Monty's Pass? It was quite good, wasn't it? Yeah. Was he? Well, like one, so big place to go. Higher all round, yeah, point apiece. Well done, it was 20 to 1. Uh, Tiger rolls up next for his first win in 2018. Was he higher or lower than Bindery? That, that's reactionary. Correct. Well, you were reacting to them a minute ago. Are they, are no, they, maybe they're they reacting to you, are they? Yeah, it was clear no. you didn't know. Yeah, not all so you just, you just saw what we were doing. Come on. 14 to 1. It was lower. Well done all round. Simon, the bets. Next <laughs> one. <laughs> 2007 winner, Silver Birch. Higher or lower than Tiger Row? I don't know. That is an easy one, lads. Come on. Higher all round. 33 to 1. Well done. Point apiece. And finally, 1989, Little Paul Vier, or Paul Vier. Higher or lower than Silver Birch? Just, just bide your time a bit here. <laughs> Higher. I seen you, Gina Bryce. He you told really. us. He told us to wait. We didn't want to give anything away. No, hang on. They're going higher. Tactics. They're going higher. So higher, higher, and higher. Little polvio. Higher by, by, and the answer was lower, twenty-eight to one. So yeah. no points there. Neck and neck after that round with Ireland, just about leading with eighteen points to the UK's seventeen points. We're on the home straight now, and that's what the final round is called. We're all to play for. In this round, one player from each team has 60 seconds to describe as many clues to their teammates as they can. We've made it a little bit trickier by widening this round to include anything in popular culture. So this could be interesting. Uh, Team UK, you are behind, only by one, but we'd like you to get up and set a target. So Matt, uh, I'm not going to ask you who's coming up, because you're coming up. You're the captain. About time you took a bit of responsibility. Up you get. Come on, Matt. Come on. <laughs> Okay, Matt, 60 seconds. You can only use two passes. First clue is there. Time starts now. Uh, Australian singer. Uh, just to... Well known. Uh, Emma Banks manages her. Lady Beaufort. No. Peter. Uh, it's a... <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Peter. Was Jay. <laughs> Kylie was Minogue. It, was it Neighbours? Kylie uh, Minogue. Danny Minogue. Yeah. Okay, this is something you can eat, but it's also something you can do and play. So you put the two words together. The first one you might eat in a restaurant. Uh, think octopus. Fish. Uh, Think seafood, octopus, seafood. like an octopus. Sea. <laughs> like eight okay. legged. The second is if you play a board <laughs> game. The, so the first thing is like an octopus. <laughs> squid, game, squid game, squid game. Uh, next name is a French footballer. Uh, uh, Zidane. No. Uh, uh, Eric Thierry Cantona. Henry. Yes. Uh, the next one won the Grand National twice. Red, uh, the tiger tiger roll. Uh, Woman. <laughs> Trainer. Uh, um, uh, Jenny Pittman. Jenny Pittman. Yeah. 
Uh, next one is a little bit like the squid. Uh, squid. Second word. Octopus. Second word of squid. Time up, Game. time up, time up, time up. Oh, he was rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sort of descent you want. Squid I was rubbish. I right. was rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, I'll just let me tot up your score. It won't take long. One, two, three, four. Well done. So you're now winning by three by my calculations. I'm happy with that. My That's team okay. was <laughs> you, you set a <laughs> target. Game Ruby, you know the gig. You up you come. With octopus. <laughs> <laughs> Mick, we have to do teamwork yes. here. Teamwork. Right, Ruby. 60 seconds, only two passes. Your first two is about to pop up and your time starts now. Um, Mucky, Nina Cabri's doing the second word right now. Dancing. dancing. Dirty dancing. Dirty dancing. Spot on. Uh, he's a singer, well singer, throws stuff into the Tom crowd. Tom Jones. Yeah. Uh, race course up beside entry. The other uh, one, close. Haydock. Second word. Park. Uh, this is a uh, Manchester so uh, soap. Um, Carnation Street. Yeah. Uh, film in a prison. Um, there's a little no. Short angle redemption. redemption. Perfect. Uh, half a euro. Fifty cents. Fifty cents. <laughs> Singer. <laughs> Irish female boxer won the Olympic. Katie Taylor. Uh, Horse to won the Grand National twice is the first word. Red. Just lately. Oh, tiger. Second more Woods. then is uh, married to the queen. Philip. No. <laughs> <laughs> married to the queen. queen. What's that? King, red king. Yeah. So, oh, you know. <laughs> king red. Uh, this time's up. Well done. We uh, OK, well, wow. Right? Uh, some uh, slightly yeah. unorthodox clues there, Ruby. And maybe popular culture wouldn't be your strongest point. Of course, race, you stick to that. Uh, but enough was done. Seven was points scored. Culture? What? What's popular culture? Probably just general knowledge about stuff like Half Tiger King. Like you said, what's Tiger King? It's like only the most famous TV programme of the last year or whatever. Anyway, besides that, you got enough points anyway. Well done. 25 points you finished on. UK, a valiant effort until your captain let you down badly in the, uh, the last round. The charades round, as you should the call charades, it. Yes. So 21 points you finished on. You're beaten by four. Unfortunately, you retain the wooden spoon, which means, once again, a pair of underpants for Team Ireland. <laughs> And Ruby Walsh. Thank you. Patrick. Well done, Ruby. Good work. Do you know what the best thing you can? What's the best, the best thing you can do on them over there? Well, turn, turn the off lights. the lights. <laughs> right. Well, that's it from us. We'd like to say thanks a million to all our guests, but most importantly, thanks to you guys at home for watching. And we shall see you the next time we do another ridiculously stupid quiz ahead of a big sporting event. But for now, enjoy the Grand National. Good luck.